Ken Whiting with Paddle TV with yet another unbiased, in-depth gear review. And in this video, we are, well, we're testing out this sucker right here. This is the Intex Explorer K2. It's an inflatable tandem kayak. And it's not just any inflatable kayak. This is hands down one of the cheapest kayaks that you'll find anywhere. It's one of the cheapest kayaks on Amazon. It's one of the cheapest kayaks at Walmart, but cheap doesn't necessarily mean good. And that's what we're here to find out. How good is this thing? So I'm gonna get this thing pumped up and tell you a bit more about it. The Intex Explorer K2 comes with two paddles, two seats, a pump, and a repair patch. It regularly retails on Amazon and Walmart for 150 US dollars. It's 10 feet, three inches long. It's 36 inches wide. It weighs 37 pounds or 16 kilos and it has a capacity of 400 pounds, 181 kilos. Its primary use is for calm, protected water. Well, that was pretty darn easy to inflate. There's five chambers, a floor, the two side tubes, and then these two end pieces, skirts. Actually, seven if you include the two seats. Easy to put together, but you know, it is, it's, it all feels pretty soft. And you know, if I felt this soft, I'd have to hit the weight room, that's for sure. <laughs> but looks and feelings, can be deceiving. And so let's get this thing on the water and see it how it actually performs. Let's do it. So before I tell you about how the Explorer K2 performed, I just wanted to let you know of a way you can save some money. Outdoorplay.com is offering my viewers 15% off almost everything in the store. Not everything, but a lot of the stuff. All you have to do is go to outdoorplay.com and when you uh, get to the checkout, use the code PADDLETV15 and you'll get 15% off. I hope that's helpful. Really, they've got a ton of paddling gear to choose from. All right, the boat has been tested and here is what I can tell you about the Intex Explorer K2. Well, first of all, <laughs> on Amazon, there's over 27,000 reviews of the Explorer K2 and the average rating is 4.5 stars out of five stars. Like, that is impressive. I mean, that's a really good rating for this kayak. And I have to say that it kind of surprises me, but then again, it doesn't surprise, surprise me. And here's why. Before I get into what I like and don't like, the pros and cons of this kayak, this is a gateway kayak. This is a kayak that lets people very, very affordably try kayaking. Uh, 150 bucks for a kayak, two paddles, a kayak that has two seats. I mean, all you need is life jackets and you can get some cheap life jackets as well. What, a, what an affordable way to test the waters to see if it's something you wanna do. And that's why we call them gateway kayaks because if people like what they their experience, they're going to keep going down that road and upgrade kayaks and, and, so the question is, how is this as a gateway kayak? And I'll, well, over 27,000 people give it 4.5 out of five stars. And so that's pretty darn good. But I think people's expectations are really, really low. Um, when you buy 100, spend 150 bucks for a kayak, you don't expect much. And I don't, I think for the purposes of just getting on the water, 
you know, whether you're at a beach, you're at the cottage, that kind of a thing. And you just want to get on the water and splash around and have a good time and uh, with friends and family, then you know what? I totally get it. This isn't as simple as a pool toy, but I think of it more like a beach toy, you know, or a cottage toy. I do think of this as a toy rather than a real kayak. It does its job. For 150 bucks, it puts smiles on people uh, and gets them on the water and introduces them to kayaking. But as a kayak, it pretty much stinks. <laughs> when, if you, and, and people are gonna hate me for saying that, people who bought this thing and love it, and that I'm not saying you shouldn't love the kayak for the purposes that you bought it for, but I'm here to review this kayak and compare it to other kayaks and how, what's it like as a kayaking experience as a kayak compared to all the other kayaks that you can get out there. Comparable price or much more expensive. And what I can tell you that this really is not a good kayak. It's, it, it doesn't provide a, a, a great paddling experience at all. In fact, it's, it's pretty horrible paddling experience compared to other kayaks. And, and with that said, let me explain why I say that. And it's not all bad either. It just, let me get into it. Let's start with portability. And this is how I always break down kayaks. Portability of this kayak, I mean, it fits in that small bag and it comes with two paddles and that pack down into that bag. It's only 37 pounds, like awesome. I mean, highly portable. This is one of the smallest packages that you can buy. It's, it's awesome. So high marks for portability. Now, uh, stability. When you're sitting in this thing in the water, how stable is it? It's stable. This is a very stable kayak. You feel very confident in this thing. And so I can see why people like it for that reason. And I think most people who buy this are buying it for stability over its performance. So stable kayak, absolutely. Now let's talk about comfort. Well, it's so soft. I mean, <laughs> it's so soft and it's almost hard for it not to be comfortable. I mean, you can sit cross-legged like I am right now. You can almost sit in every any position. Uh, so it's comfortable, in that sense, but the seat itself, the seat is comfortable because it's soft, but that's about it. There's zero, virtually no actual support being given by the seat. When I lean back, it just collapses right over on itself. So really there's no lower back support, no back support at all. I'm having to lean forward. Now the other issue about comfort too, this boat is so soft and when I'm sitting in it right now, in the middle, it's sagging right down. And where my, all my weight is in the butt. And when my butt sinks down, that means my feet are up here are actually higher than my butt is. And that is inherently an uncomfortable position. The most comfortable kayaks are the exact opposite. They have raised seats and so that your butt is higher than your feet, puts less strain on your hamstrings. You don't need to be as flexible. It's just a more comfortable position, a dramatically more comfortable position. So this boat isn't comfortable to paddle because you're always in this weird crunch position and you have real no back support. It's, it's a lounge boat. It's a, it's a kickback. I'm on the water, enjoying the sunset, having a, enjoying the sun, a beautiful day. That's the kind of boat it is. And it's pretty darn comfortable in that regard. Actually, you know what? The other thing about comfort I'm going to mention that I have to mention, the first thing I noticed about this kayak when I was paddling, this seam right here, it's about a, I don't know, like a quarter inch seam that sticks up on the side of the kayak and it's right on the top. And so as you're taking the stroke, my thumbs were just constantly hitting it. And, and it's like this really annoying thing that's, why? No other kayak I've been in has something where your hands are hitting. You're just constantly, now it's not cutting me, but it's just annoying. It's, that's all the best way to put it. So performance, this thing is so soft that it acts like an amoeba in, in the water. It, and that just kills all your speed. As a rule, the stiffer a kayak is, the more it acts like a hard shell kayak, the better it will cut through the water. There's no cutting through the water with this boat. This boat kind of slinks its way through the water. Because there's no V in the bow, real V in the bow, it, the bow is 
moving aggressively side to side, you lose so much of your forward stroke to the boat turning rather than propelling you forward. The fin that you put in, the removable fin, uh, helps keep it going straight a little bit, but I mean, this thing uh, is definitely not, is one of the slowest kayaks I've ever paddled. So low, low, low marks for performance. On the flip side, it is one of the most maneuverable kayaks I've ever paddled. You can spin this thing on a dime one stroke and you're almost able to do a 360 with one stroke. If you take the fin out, you definitely can. And that's kind of cool, but it certainly doesn't help you move anywhere. So now I typically talk about value and I've kind of touched on it already. 150 bucks, 150 bucks for two paddles, a kayak that has two seats. I mean, how can you get cheaper than that? I just don't, it's amazing. And so it is amazing value for what you get. You just have to understand the real limitations of what this thing is. This is not a, a kayak designed for paddling, uh, really going for paddling trips. It's designed for getting on the water and just having an, a water experience and discovering, is kayaking something I wanna pursue? And if it is, you will very, very quickly uh, replace this kayak with a better kayak. And let, that is if you try a better kayak. If you don't want to spend the money, don't try a better kayak. Stay in your world, stay in this world, because if you try a higher performing kayak, you will understand more what I'm saying, the wow, what a difference a, you know, a few of these features make. Continuing on the topic of value, the paddle actually is a good representation of what the kayak is and who it's actually for. It's amazing that you get two paddles with this thing for 150 US dollars, but you have to know what kind of paddle you're getting. And this paddle, it's aluminum. I mean, it is, look at how much I can bend it just with my, just like that. But on top of that, so much flex, so that you're really getting very little power from this, this paddle, almost no power at all. And then there's the blades themselves. Well, how much power do you think you get when you pull on that paddle in the water and the blade just gives away? You're not getting any power from that. In fact, when I tried to dig in a few times to get some strokes, I lost power because the blade folded in half. So that is representative of what you get with this whole package. You don't get a paddling machine, you get a water experience. So who's it for? Well, very simply, it's for people that are looking for to, to test the water, to see if they like kayaking. Are they comfortable going out on the water? Do they like the motion? Do they find it hurts their shoulders? Do they want to do it? And 150 bucks is an absolutely incredible, incredibly cheap way to test that. That's who this is for. It's also for people who want to, um, this is all they want from a kayak is to just get on the water and enjoy an evening or an afternoon or an hour or two, spend time with friends and family, splash around with their kids. Fantastic. You know, this does a wonderful job of that. It's a K2, they say, a tandem kayak. It comes with two seats, but something you need to know is that they say the capacity is 400. Uh, that's what you see on the website, but then when on the, the writing on the back, what it says is, well, actually the capacity for two people is 330 pounds for two people, plus gear, you can put up to 400 pounds. So two people at 330 pounds, I mean, it's not two adults, no, it's not, or it's two small adults. It's gonna be more, this is more of a, an adult with a child uh, kind of boat. And it's not just because of the weight capacity, it's also because of the size, there's just, Two adults would be crammed in this thing. An adult and a child, no problem. This is actually more, uh, I think of this as a single kayak and it's, a, it's well sized for um, someone who wants to, to paddle solo or wants to put uh, a kid in the front or a, another small adult. So there you go. A full review of why I love but kind of hate <laughs> the Intex Explorer K2. I uh, hope you guys have enjoyed this view. I'm sure I'm, I'm going to strike a nerve with some people here, um, but I hope you can appreciate where I'm coming from with this, that um, I have to review this from the perspective of what you get as a kayak, because that's what I do. I'm not reviewing water experience crafts. I'm, 
I'm reviewing kayaks. I got a lot more tips coming your way, a lot more gear reviews, a lot more paddling adventures. Stay tuned for those. Leave a comment down below with your experiences with this. 27,000 people gave reviews about it. I love to hear what you like about this kayak. Where am I off base? Where am I wrong? And um, where am I right? Share that with other people who are shopping because a lot of people are trying to make the decision, is this the right kayak for them? And you can help. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon.